If there's one thing that I despise about doing my nails is having to remove my nail extensions, but I 100% rather do it myself than go to a salon because we all know the horror stories of things that have happened in the salon. My ring light keeps flickering, so it's giving spooky vibes. But yeah, I've had experiences where they rip my nails off or they're using the e-file way too rough on my natural nails. So I've found a way to do it myself at home. And hopefully this video helps you out if you're looking for a way to do it as well. But thank you guys so much for showing lots of love on my nail videos. If you are a nail content lover, give this video a thumbs up before we even get started. Also, I do want to mention one little thing that I recently discovered, and I don't know if it's on everybody's channel, like every creator has this option, but there is a little things button. It has like a little heart shape and it's down like right above the description box. That is also another way you can support my channel or any other creator who has this available as well. But I thought I would mention that because it's something new that I just discovered. So yeah, that's another way to support me and my channel. And I appreciate all the love and all the support that I get, no matter if it's monetary or not, it is a monetary thing, disclaimer. So I'm only gonna talk about it once because I'm not about to be out here asking for money. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> but with all that being said, let's just get right into the video. These gold nails are the ones that I did in my Gel X fill-in video, but the original extensions underneath, I think were about three weeks old, probably four at this point. So it was definitely time for a new set. And I'm gonna go ahead and start removing these extensions, starting first by filing off the gel polish. I'm using my coarse carbide nail bits with my e-file. You always wanna be super duper careful when you're using an e-file, but for this part, it is a little bit better to go at a higher speed to remove the bulk of the nail faster. I was trying to be super careful because since I did do that Gel X fill-in, the area around my cuticle was more so natural nail than it was the actual nail tip extension. So that part, I was just trying to be a little more gentle. But overall, I think I put the speed at 20 and this helps remove the polish super fast. If you don't have an e-file and you're trying to remove your nails at home, I highly, highly recommend that you get one because it makes the process so much faster. So I just continued removing that gel polish and I also tried to remove a little bit of that nail extension tip. So I wanna make that as thin as possible without actually filing down to my natural nail because the more that you remove during this filing part, the less time that you have to spend soaking your nails. I personally like to soak off the rest of my nails. I don't like to file all the way down. I know some people do do that. I think that might be a little bit faster, but I think soaking is healthier for your nails. Also. I was gonna tell you guys about this dust collector that I'm using, but in this video, it's not even working. Like I'm just using it as a prop for my hand. As soon as I started filming, this thing died on me. And honestly, I'm not surprised. I got it from Amazon last year. I think I even included it in a nail haul video last year. In general, dust collectors, the ones that I've seen at least commonly used are super expensive. Like they can get up to hundreds of dollars. And I found this one on Amazon for probably 30 or 40 bucks. I was like, oh, that's super cheap. Let me try it out. And to be honest, it wasn't even that great, but I'm just mad the fact that I was gonna use it today and it died on me. Like it literally started going crazy. It started blinking crazy. And the dust that it was supposed to be collecting was just shooting outward. So I just turned it off and used it as a little prop for my hand, but I definitely need to invest in one of these soon. So here are what my nails look like with all that polish removed. And now we're gonna move on to soaking off the rest of these extensions. So I'm using these soaking bowls I got off Amazon and I love these because of that little extra bowl piece that it comes with. You're actually supposed to fill that with hot water and then you click on the top piece where your hands go in and you fill that section with acetone. Before I put my hands in the acetone, I am applying cuticle oil like heavily all over the areas around my nails. This doesn't completely prevent it, but it does help a little bit with the drying out of your hands when you dip your hands in the acetone. So you guys will see when I remove my hands from the acetone later, they're super dry and dehydrated and this didn't completely prevent it, like I said, but it does help a little bit. So I apply that oil all over, making sure to also put it underneath my nails. And then I am pouring in the acetone. I'm using pure acetone and I'm going to soak my nails for 10 minutes. The hot water that you put at the bottom of the bowl is going to help kind of activate that acetone and make the soaking process a little bit faster. So 
So when you remove your nails from the acetone, the gel tips should feel and look like jelly. It should be a really easy process to scrape the gel extension off your nails. They literally just melt away. Even though I hate doing nail removals, nail extension removals, I do like how the gel extension just falls apart like that. It makes it really easy. So when you're scraping the gel off, it should come off really easily. If you find yourself needing to put like a lot of pressure on your nail to really get that off, you might want to soak it a little bit more and then start scraping again. So I changed my cuticle bit to one that I can use with a sanding band and I put the speed super low because now I'm gonna be working on my natural nails to buff away any extra gel that I had on my hands. I didn't have enough to wanna soak my hands again but I did have a little bit that I wanted to get rid of before I continued on. Next, I'm just filing the free edge of my nail and kind of reshaping some of them a little bit. My nails actually were growing, but they are so fragile. Literally, no matter what I do, my nails are so, so fragile. So even if I have a little bit of growth, they just start breaking and bending. So I'd rather just keep them short. I'm using this cuticle oil. I love the way it smells. It's a new one I picked up from Sally's a few days ago, but I'm putting that on my cuticles and I'm gonna just push them back. I've been really gentle with cuticle care lately and I pretty much stopped like cutting my cuticles unless it was absolutely necessary. I've heard many like nail techs and just people who do nails in general talk about just how removing the cuticle is actually not that healthy or good for your nails. So I'm trying to steer away from doing that, especially when I'm doing other people's nails. But I do always push my my cuticles back and then I'll use this cylinder drill bit that you guys will see in a sec and I'll use that to kind of remove any dead skin that is on the nail plate around my cuticle. So I'm just dusting all of that stuff away and then I'm gonna rehydrate my nails using that same cuticle oil. I'm putting this all over. I drench my nails in this, especially after removing because the acetone really dries out your hands. So I make sure to put it all over and also underneath my nails once again.
And then I'm also gonna put on some lotion because my hands were super duper dry. So I guess this was kind of a gel extension removal plus a little bit of nail prep because that prep that I just did is basically everything I would do before I put on a fresh set. I like to do it right after I remove my nails because I usually put on a new set a day or two after. And now that I already have it done, I can just get right into the application process and make that whole process quicker and easier. My hands are so stubby and I feel like they look so ugly without nails on. I cannot go long without putting extensions on. I'm actually gonna do these tonight, so I should have another nail video up very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. If you made it to the end of this video, leave this little heart emoji down below. You guys know the one I'm talking about with the hands. Leave that in the comments below. I'll make sure to heart it and comment back. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.